Hello everyone, my name is C. Neha Agarwal from ASP Solutions and the topic for today is accounting calendars and currency. So we, are, we will be covering two things in Oracle Fusion, the calendar and the currencies in this video. So first we'll understand what is the accounting calendar and how we work and manage this calendar in the Oracle Fusion applications. So we have to define an accounting calendar in the uh, Oracle Fusion applications to create our accounting year and the period that it contains. We specify common calendar options that the application uses to automatically generate a calendar with its period. Specifying all the options make defining a correct calendar easier and more intuitive with fewer errors. It is difficult to change your accounting calendar after a period status is set to open or future end enterable. While specifying the accounting calendar, we have to specify the start date, and the period frequencies, adjusting period frequencies, and period name format region. The start date specify the calendar start date. That's a full year before the st uh, start date of the year of the first translation period for your ledger. Once first calendar period is open, you cannot add previous years. Period frequency is set to set the interval of each subsequent period to occur. For example, monthly, quarterly, yearly. We can also have adjusting periods. So we have to specify the adjusting period frequency. We use this to control when the application creates adjusting periods. Period name re format regions allow us to enter different fields such as user, def uh, user defined prefix, format, and year. We'll go in the instance and see how we create the accounting calendar. So from here, we'll select our project, which is Fusion Financial Project. And you must be knowing how we reached here from the system administration, from the setup and, uh, setup and maintenance, we have go gone to the task list. From there, we have selected Manage Implementation Project and we have landed over here. So over here, we have set the task Manage Accounting calendar this is the task which we have to select and we'll select the go to task option we have to clear create the calendar only once and uh, subsequently we can add periods to our already created calendar So the already cal uh, created calendars are visible over here. We'll click on the create to create a new accounting calendar. Over here, we mentioned the name and other details of our accounting calendar in the create window. So this is the create accounting calendar window. Over here, we'll give the name of the calendar, the fusion calendar. Depending upon your country, you can have different calendars. And these calendars are at attached with your primary ledger. You have to map them with your primary ledger. So you can uh, specify the uh, relevant calendar over there. Start date shall be the date of the uh, start date of your full year. So say I mentioned over here 4-1-2022 or 1-1-2022 or 1-1-2022 and period frequency is monthly. We can set as per our requirement. We are setting monthly over here. 
you can give user defined prefix if you want m1 or anything as a prefix to your periods you can assign it over here you can have the separator as per the requirement then the format we can also select as per our requirement and if this calendar is for budgetary control then you can select the option over here you can set the adjusting period frequency over here so i have said once at the year end so all the adjustment entry can be made once at the year end once the period has been closed now we click on the next icon from here and the periods will be generated once you cl click the next button So these are the period which are created. You can see the separator over here, this the hyphen which we have selected over there. So these are the periods which are created and the last is the adjusting period. This is the adjusting period, the period number 13, which is created at the end year end. So once at the year end we have selected, so this one is the adjusting period. So this way our accounting calendar gets created we'll click on the save and close icon and if you want to add another year you will have to add it by selecting your uh, accounting calendar and then you can add the year in that you don't have to create the calendar again so this was the basic idea how we create the accounting calendar in the fusion applications moving towards currencies So currencies, as you all know, will display our monetary amounts. Assign uh, the assign uh, we'll assign currencies to the ledgers for making the payments and all, and recording the transactions and the balances and for other reporting purposes. All the currencies which are listed in the International Organization of Standardization (ISO) 4217 are supported in the Fusion application. The defend, default currency which is set is USD or the United States dollar. What are the con consideration for defining the currencies? So first one is the currency code. We can't change it once enabled, even if we disable that currency. So we should uh, carefully assign the currency code. The date range, we can give the date range. Uh, we can enter transaction denominated in the currency only for the dates within that specified range. But if we don't enter a start date, then also the currency is valid from the immediate effect. We can also give the symbols. We may enter the symbols associated with the currencies so that it appears along with the amount. So basically, the currencies are already a seeded data in the Oracle Fusion. We don't have to create it. But if there is a requirement of creating the same, we can create the currencies by using the following steps. So I'll take you to the instance and show you how we can see what all currencies are available there and how we create if we want to create a new one. From the setting and action menu, we have selected setup and maintenance. And from here, we will select search option, which is available at the last. And from here, we will search. When this page will open, we will search manage currencies. So after writing manage currencies, we click on the search icon and the task manage currencies will be available over here. So, so here is the task, we'll click on this manage currencies. To create a new currencies, we can click on this add icon and then we'll have to enter the currency code, the currency name, the description and the start date and end date for uh, mentioning the date range from uh, to which in which we have to keep that enable that currency. And then we have to click on the save and close and this way we'll be able to create a new currency in the fusion. See, you can give the currency code as FCC and currency name as fusion currency. And 
you can mention the description and you can enable it. So this is how the currency is created. Now to see what all currencies are already available uh, in the system, we, we can just click, uh, we can just cancel this action and click on search icon. Just If you know the currency code, you can uh, enter over here in the currency name. But to see what all currencies are available, we'll just go to manage currencies page and click on the search icon without entering any information there. Just click on the search and all the seeded currencies will be visible. So you can see the data which is available over here in the Fusion application. This is already seeded. See all the seeded data is here. So this was all about the accounting calendar and the currencies. Hope you have understood and thank you for watching.